Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm really pleased you can be here with me. So today's piece is inspired by nature with a lot of my pieces and I want to create a nighttime scene and I also want to have a tree in the design. It sounds simple, but obviously we're gonna do this with all fluid paint. So I'm gonna do a nighttime scene in terms of having a black base. I'm gonna create a moon shimmer and shine. I'm gonna use my embroidery hoop to create the moon. And I'm gonna mix in some yellows and some silver to take part of the color palette of the moon and then kind of swipe around to try and get a glow in the sky. And then in front of the moon, I'm gonna create a tree and I'm gonna just use two greens. So a black base, two greens for a tree, some silver and some yellow for the moon. I'll take you in to have a look at the color palette now, but let's see what we can create. Okay, so here are my colors. I've got a lamp black by Amsterdam for the base. All my colors will be listed in my description box. This is a yellow, a Naples yellow by Amsterdam. It looks white, but it does have a, a yellow glow to it. I've also got some silver, some iridescent silver, and my intention is to mix the silver and the yellow together to make the moon. And then I've got two greens, a um, emerald green and a brilliant green. It's by Amsterdam. And they're all mixed with pouring medium, one part paint to three parts pouring medium. And I'm gonna use my canvas. This is an A2 size canvas. I've got my embroidery hoop ready, so let's go. So to prepare my base, all I'm doing is I'm taking my lamp black and I'm just adding the color to the base. And then what I'll do is I will take my palette knife and spread all that paint out. And I'll spread it out into a consistent coverage across the canvas. I'll do that now with my palette knife. And then what I'll do is I will take you in and show you the next part of the process. So first of all, we're gonna create the moon. And we're gonna focus on creating the moon now with the silver and the Naples yellow. It looks white, but there is a tone of yellow within that paint. And then what I'm going to do, after I've puddled my paints in the middle, I'm literally going to take my finger and I'm just going to swirl the paint together in the middle of that circle. I'm just going to ensure that the paint goes up to the edges inside that embroidery hoop, just so that embroidery hoop connects with the paint that we're using with our finger. That's just going to really create a random pattern it's going to create texture and it's going to create different patterns, a bit like the moon. So if ever you look through binoculars and see the moon, that's the kind of effect that we're looking for. I'm going to remove the embroidery hoop and place that to one side. I'll take you in now just so you can see that pattern that we've designed as the moon surface, just using our finger to create those patterns. And then what I wanna do is I wanna create some glow that comes from the moon. So I'm gonna use toilet paper. It's a three ply toilet paper, just folded up. And I'm literally going to place the toilet paper on the edge of the circle where we've lifted it up, where it meets the black paint and just gently swipe. My intention here is not to take too much of the paint with me I just want to take just a very tiny bit of paint to almost create that glow effect that you normally see when you look up at the sky at night and you see the moon shining through. A little bit like rays of the sun, but obviously this is rays of the moon. And I'm just going to do this all the way around that moon, taking a little bit of paint with me as I go and just lightly swiping out to the edge. I'm not applying too much pressure. I'm allowing the toilet paper to connect with the paint 
and then I'm literally just swiping it and glizing it across the black paint that's on the base. Okay, so I'm happy with the moon, but now I'm going to concentrate on the tree or the forest area. And I'm literally going to do a zigzag in the middle of the canvas using my green paint and my wooden spatula. I'm using that as a guide because once I've worked out where I want my paint, I will then pour more of the green paint in that zigzag motion. I'm just doing a light coverage of it now, just so I can see the pattern that I want to go in and the guide that I'm doing. And then I'll swipe out from the middle. Now, remember, this is very abstract. It's going to represent a forest area or maybe just a single tree, whatever your interpretation is. But I'm now going to layer those two colours of green in that zigzag motion. And I will take my toilet paper and swipe out the paint that we've layered. And you'll see as this evolves, we can add in more paint in the areas that need it and also add in some of that silver that helps to represent a reflection on top of the trees created by the moon. So all I'm doing is I'm using my toilet paper and swiping out each side of that zigzag that we've created. We've added two tones of green and that's going to shine through throughout our swipe. So I'm just going to take one piece of paper at a time and swipe out the paint from side to side. And I'm going to do that until I get to the bottom of the paint. And then what I'll do is I will look for any gaps, I will look at the composition and I will add in some more paint where I feel that it needs.
So that's now given me an idea of how I want my green area. But I'm just adding some more paint as I go, just to fill in any blanks or any gaps that I feel really need some more focus. So don't be scared to do that. Swipe again over your paints, add more paints in and swipe over the surface. I really want some more depth to the green. So I'm literally going to take each color and add a solid line now down the middle. And then I'm gonna take my paper and swipe out. But before I do that, I'm just gonna add in some more of that Naples yellow, just down the middle in various areas. And that's really gonna represent the reflection across the trees or the tree that you will get from the moon as that shines through and you'll see that again i'm just using a three ply toilet paper i'm folding in half and half again and then i'm going to use that width to then swipe out the paint that i've layered on top this is a different width than what i started with therefore it should create different lines and different depth to this piece So remember guys, this is just about having a bit of fun, experimenting with your paints and maybe doing something like this to help you get used to the swipe technique and how much pressure you need to place on your swiping tool, whether it's a piece of paper, a toilet paper or a piece of plastic and just swipe through your design. We swiped around the circle and then we've also swiped lines underneath. I think it's a really great representation of an abstract forest scene in the moonlight at night and I'm really happy with the end result. So I'm going to let this dry and I'll take you in for a look at the dried result. So here we go, the dried version. I love how it's dried. I love the detail within the moon. I love the swipe effect that we've done on that outer edge that gives that glow across the night sky. Maybe I will add a few more dots of white in the sky to represent some stars. I don't know yet. I don't know if I've finished, but this is the finished version so far. And then the greens have dried beautifully. I've loved those two tones that I've used and adding some of that Naples yellow on top of some of that green to reflect some of the reflection that you would get at night when the moon shines and shimmers through a forest scene. 
This has been so much fun. I've enjoyed just playing and letting my imagination run wild with this kind of design. And I hope you try this too. Let me know if you do. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope I get to see you again in the next video. Take care, everyone. And thanks so much for all of your support. See you soon. Bye.